Hey guys, Natalia here. I wanted to make a video today talking about the next four important steps that people should take when they're thinking about moving out and renting somewhere. So like I mentioned in my last video, it's important to first decide if you're going to go into a rental building or if you're going to be looking at houses or condos. Once you make that decision, the next step that you should take, so number one on this list, would be to look at and think about what location you want to live in. Obviously Toronto has a lot of different diverse neighborhoods, so it's important for you to know what it is that you want in the area that you want to live in. Do you want to be close to work? Is it important for you to be close to TTC stops or GO train transit? Do you want to be close to highways? Do you want to be in a neighborhood that's more quiet and family oriented? Or do you want to be somewhere with a lot of life and restaurants and nightclubs? So depending on your lifestyle and what's important to you, location is the most important thing to start thinking about. Number two on this list would be to think about your budget. So obviously budgeting is very important and the standard um, in the industry as we usually say is that you should not spend more than 30 percent of your household income on rent so what this means is that if your household income is seventy thousand dollars say a year then your rent 30% of that would be 21,000 a year which divided by 12 means that your monthly rent should not exceed 1,750. This is just a standard that people usually use but obviously it doesn't apply to everybody depending on what kind of uh, budgeting abilities you have and if you don't mind cutting out on certain things like going out or entertainment budgets then obviously you can spend more on rent but this is maybe just to give you a general idea of what people tend to say uh, you should spend on rent. Number three on this list is the importance of the unit itself. So once you've decided what kind of building you're going to go into, then you need to start thinking about what unit you need. Do you need a one bedroom, two bedroom? Do you care about the layout of the unit? Do you care if it has a balcony or parking? Um, also, if you have a pet, for example, you might have to consider pet friendly buildings. So things like that about the specific unit is probably the next thing that you should be thinking about. And number four on this list, which I think is actually the most important thing that you should be considering, is to talk to a real estate professional. So as a real estate professional, we can ha actually help you in your search for a place to lease. And a lot of tenants don't take advantage of this and maybe don't know about this, but uh, as a tenant, you would not be paying the real estate agent or the company any sort of fee. It is completely free of charge. And I'm actually going to make a video about the role of a real estate professional in the whole leasing process. But I just wanted to touch on it a little bit because it is super important and something that a lot of people don't take advantage of. So it's definitely something you should consider. Uh, real estate professionals get paid by the landlords once you find a place to lease so as the tenant you actually don't pay anything at all and it's advantageous to you because we're able to show you all the properties that are for lease with other realtors we can help you narrow down neighborhoods and we can help you in the whole negotiation process and in the creation of the lease to make sure that everything in there is protecting you uh, not just protecting the landlord so you're not alone in this basically um, and yeah, those are the next four important steps that you should be uh, taking and thinking about when you're considering moving out and renting somewhere on your own. So I hope that this was helpful and I'll follow up with uh, more videos coming soon. Thank you. Bye.